Hey y'all, Irix guy here back again and uh, if you watch my videos, you probably know that I go through a lot of cameras. I I'll be frank, I mean, I've had a hard time finding every, finding a camera that I like because I always find flaws. And <laughs> have I found the perfect camera? This camera right here, although it's it's more expensive than cameras I've used in the past, this thing has amazed me from a still photo and from a 4K video perspective. And it's not that big. Comparing it to a DSLR, it's not that big. Uh, this is the A7R2. Uh, check the link within this video's description. You can find it, the various lenses and accessories that I use. Hold on, Sean Cooner is trying to jump in my camera case. No, no fur in there. No fur in the camera case. But, uh, yeah, it's just a really good camera. It's got... Obviously, it's got interchangeable lenses. This is a mirrorless camera, so the and it's a full-frame camera, so the video quality and the photo quality is absolutely mind-blowing, in my opinion. And you can check out my other videos. I did, um, I, I've, at the time of posting this, I filmed a lot of videos. But my minor gripe, obviously, the battery life is not perfect, but the batteries are so small. And they're affordable. So that's, for me, that's a non-issue. If I'm going to shoot an extended duration video, I'm going to use the video camera that I'm filming this with. Because I can, I forget the exact time, it's with a big battery, I think I can get an hour or so, at least an hour out of it. And it doesn't have, like DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, the camcorder doesn't have the 29-minute continuous 4K video recording limitation. But this thing is just it's absolutely blown my mind. Check the, uh, check the playlist that this video's in. If you're seeing the YouTube card, you can click that and check it out. I'm going to continue to film a plethora of content with this camera. Obviously, I primarily do video, but the stills out of this, I mean, are absolutely amazing. And when you look at, when you look at as many videos and photos as I do, and you look at some that were, that were captured... For example, one of my previous cameras that I love, the RX-10 Mark II. Awesome camera, awesome video, awesome stills. It was a bridge camera, didn't have interchangeable lenses. When I look at the stills and the videos that were captured with it, <clears throat> and then I look at the videos and the stills that were captured with this, the difference is night and day. Even to a casual viewer, there's, there's a good probability that a casual viewer not familiar with any of the equipment, not looking at videos and or photos all the time, they'll probably immediately see it. And the biggest, the biggest area where I see the difference, for example, if you're, if you're taking a video or a photo of, let's say like a, rusty, uh, like a rusty railroad bridge, there's a bunch of different colors, they're, they're close, then there's colors in the background, you know, buildings in the background, trees in the backgrounds, etc. You can really see the detail. And the amount of detail you get that I get with this camera versus a, uh, a less... And I don't know if you would even consider this a professional-grade camera. I certainly do. I mean, for my purposes, it's definitely, uh, definitely professional-grade. But the difference is night and day. So, I mean, I'm, I'm stoked. But don't listen to me rant. Check the link within this video's description. See all the still photos I've captured with it. See the... Uh, See the videos I've captured. See for yourself. Because, I mean, it's, it's blown my mind. And the good thing about it is, is that, I mean, inevitably, cameras continue to, to evolve. So as they come out with a new camera, if they keep this FE, this full-frame lens, E-mount, Sony E-mount lens, if they keep that format, hopefully I'll be able to use my lenses with the, uh, with the newer versions of the uh, Sony Alpha uh, A7R II. Well, I should say A7R, because the next one will probably be the A7R Mark III, and then Mark IV, and then Mark V, etc. So, yeah, super impressed. Uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day.